Welcome. So in the previous video, we talked about the different types of programming structures. In this video, we're going to talk about the sequential programming structure. So let's get started. Now, without you knowing, without me telling you, we have been using the sequential programming structure. So if you look at this piece of code, which is where we left off last time, we were doing the increment and decrement operators, and notice here that we have some statements, right? So in, in the previous video, I said how in sequential, we follow a particular sequence of statements and we do them in a particular order. So in here, we have two statements. Here is one, and here is the second one, right? So first, in, we have to do this in a particular sequence. So the first statement gets executed first, and then the second statement gets executed second. Notice that, yes, there is a, there's a gap in between, so you might be wondering, well, what happens if it looks like this? Does this mean that we have one statement that first gets executed, then we have some delay, like imagine like these little blank lines you're waiting, and then you do this? Well, that's incorrect. We do, that, does, that is not how it works. So the space that we have here, the space is ignored. First of all, when, when you compile this code, when we run it, let's say I hit play, when I hit play, this thing starts to compile down here. What happens is all this extra space, it's ignored. It doesn't care about it. It's, it, it's useless, okay? So this space, it does not affect the sequence, right? So you can have, again, multiple spaces, or you can have no spaces at all. I can have something like this. This is the exact same sequence. First is this statement then this statement. Notice we have a line here at the very front. So we have four and then five. When I hit enter, well, this now became six. This is why I don't like to use the word line of code. I don't want to say this line of code gets executed first and then this one because the line of code can change, right? Oops, this can now be seven. And if I was saying line six, well, this is line six. Nothing happens in line six. So in terms of sequence, I like to say the statement, which is currently in line four, gets executed first. And then the next statement, which in this case happens to be line seven, gets executed. How can we tell apart one statement from another if spacing doesn't matter, right? Well, you might say, well, still, I can go from one line to the next. I can see that these are two statements. Well, there, this is not exactly how you tell where two statements are separated. The, what separates one statement from another is the semicolon. That is actually the purpose of the semicolon. You know that this statement has ended because of this semicolon. And you know that this statement has begun with the letter P because right before it, so if I ignore the space, because this is what? This is just space. So if I ignore all of these things that I have highlighted in blue, again, it doesn't care about space. If I ignore it, then what is it going to do? Then it's going to say, well, my initiation of the next statement is this letter P. And it's going to go all the way until I encounter the next statement semicolon, which means I could definitely do this. This is two statements, right? You might, oh, no, this looks like one. Well, it looks like one, but these are two. Here is, here is the separator. Here is one semicolon, and so this is one statement, and here's the next statement. And if I run this, this is perfectly fine, right? Count is zero. There is no issues. So don't think that just because you see one line of code, it's just one thing. In reality, it is the semicolon what determines where one statement ends and where one statement begins. Now, typically, of course, you will never see this. All right, I've been programming for a couple of years now, and I've never encountered this. Is there a reason why would someone want to do this? Of course, we can discuss that in a future video. However, no one does this because what we care about when we program is also readability, which means I like to use spacing as a way for me to separate things, right? So if I want to do things about counts, if I can say count, let's just use the increment operator and say count, you know, uh, let's say equals count, now I'm going to increment it by three. Right? All of these things relate to count, and I would like to separate them with a space from when I actually notify the user what the value in count is. So this spacing is actually used for us programmers to visually, much more visually appealing look at code. So in this video, again, it's a short video. It's pretty straightforward. What you should take away is that in sequential, which we have been using in the previous videos when we code, is that things happen one statement at a time. And we know that statement ends to the semicolon. And it is possible within one line of code to have multiple statements. However, 
in general, no one ever does that. And the spacing is to help us be able to look at this code and make it more readable, okay? Now, with that being said, just as a last thing, uh, I'm not saying that spacing is never important. Of course, spacing can be important. And what happens, you know, for instance, right here, I can't just say, well, int count, no spacing, right? That doesn't work because it can't tell the difference between these two words. So, yes, in this particular case, to separate these two words, the spacing does matter. But in here, the spacing does not necessarily matter because equal is not something that has an issue with the variable name. Right. So again, yes, there are cases. Is there's little cases where spacing does matter, but for in general, oops, in general, when we talk about spaces, it's more for us humans to be able to look at this and say, okay, uh, this this is easier on the eye to grasp and to be able to read this code much more easier. Okay. So short video on sequential. If you found this video useful and you don't mind, leave a like. If you have a question, feel free to leave a comment below. If you're new to this channel, check out the video series, check out the channel. If you like what you see, subscribe, be safe, and peace out.